So one of the reasons that I was excited to move from a page builder to Gutenberg and to use the Bloxy theme with its pro companion was to try and recreate what I had done with a page builder, which was to create a row, have that as a content block, right? Which is the whole point of, of Gutenberg and then take that block and make it reusable and place it somewhere dynamically without writing a lot of code. And that's what I'm gonna show you. So this is a blog post I wrote the other day, and uh, it's about the um, DAP membership plugin. So the links in here, uh, there's, a, there's a couple links in here, they're affiliate links. And I don't have any disclosure here, even though I have a disclosure page, right? but I don't want to just have a page, right? The rules say I gotta actually let people know and I wanna let them know, right? So what I wanna do is create a content block that discloses it and then present it uh, here on the page, right? And what I'm gonna do is try and place it right over here, which is after the call to action, after the uh, sign up for the newsletter and before the social and before the author bio, okay? Now, can I do that? Well, let me show you how that works. I'm gonna come up here to the toolbar and because I'm using Bloxy and because I'm using uh, the companion, I have this show theme hooks and I'm gonna click that. Now this is a shortcut. There are other ways to do it, but this shortcut is super awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down to where I want it to show up. And right here, I'm gonna see Bloxy single content bottom. And I go, yeah, I'm gonna click on this little pencil. That's my shortcut. Because if not, I can just go create the content block and then I can start doing the where do I hook it, but this already pre-hooks it there, right? So that's, that's kind of awesome. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna use the um, generate blocks has a container. And in that container, I'm gonna put a paragraph, just text, post, now this is gonna go on every post and I don't, I, I should probably say may contain, right? Um, may contain external affiliate link. Click on them and I'll get no. Okay. And then I'm going to take this affiliates link and I'm going to grab this URL. And what I'm going to do is come back to it and just paste it on top so that I can tell you, hey. Now, uh, I'm going to go up to this container and I'm going to, uh, let's say in the typography. And make it 14. So it's a little bit smaller than and let's grab this and uh, let's change it to be center aligned. Now I can also do that with um, uh, CSS, right? If I come back up to this uh, container and I come over to the bottom of this advanced, uh, I can also put a CSS class there and then just do it all in regular CSS. I did, I did what I wanted to do, which is great. Now, I'm gonna come up to this Bloxy area and you will see that the bottom content, the location and the priority is already done for me. So that's great. Uh, I also wanna grab this guy, hold on, before I do before I do this, I'm gonna grab this guy, show the settings and I wanna go to spacing, right? Because I wanna know like, am, am, I, am I spacing this right? And, and what I'd like to do is maybe make this 30 and the bottom 30, I don't, I don't want, I don't want, at the bottom of that area to be like lots and lots of space. So I'm gonna adjust that. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back up to this block scene and I have to do the display condition. That display condition says, yes, I know where on the page you want it, but on which pages do I wanna show it? And so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I want it on the single page. And I'm gonna hit update. Now, it's done, right? It, that's, that's all done. If I come back here, if I didn't wanna use that shortcut, in the Bloxy area, there is content block. And I just created that one right here, right? So I could just hit add new, and then it would say, well, do you wanna do it for the 404? Do you wanna do it on the header, footer, 
Or do you want to do it based on the hooks, which is what we're doing. We're using the hooks. So you can go at it that way. I just showed you the, the shortcut version, right? So now let's say I come back to this post and I come in and I look. Now it can be on any post. In this case, I don't think I had an affiliate post in here, but uh, it's still going to be, it's still going to show up at the bottom, here, right? And if I want to put it at the top, if I want to put it anywhere else, right? So this post may contain affiliate links. That means if you click, so it's all here, right? It showed up and the spacing looks okay. Maybe the bottom spacing a little too much, but you know, all in all looks okay. Uh, the font though, I got to wonder, right? The font may uh, not be 14 or it just may be that this is also 14 because they look the same. So I'll look at that. I can look at that via CSS. Um, but the point is that is exactly how this same strategy is exactly how at the bottom of every blog post, I have my clarity announcement, right? Same thing. Do it once, make it a content block, and then say, put this in a different location, but put this on every blog post. Thanks.